Hey, look at him. Wow, he's so hot. He's getting so much attention, as always. I'm Hinako Baba. This is my boyfriend Yuki Yoshida. We've been dating since high school. Yuki was the big man on campus. Everyone wanted a piece of him. He was good looking, smart, and good at sports. I wasn't that good looking, so sometimes people asked him why he was going out with a girl like me. I did my best to be the best girlfriend I can be. But he looks even better now that he's older. I got a lot of attention walking next to him. It wasn't a bad feeling, but... Hinako! What's up? You tired? Huh? I'm fine. Oh, okay. You're coming to my house tonight, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Should we head back then? Okay. But there was a side of Yuki that only I knew about. Hinako, I'm so tired. Take off my socks. <sighs> when we were alone at home, he acted like a little kid. He couldn't do anything on his own. Hinako! There, there. At first, I thought it was kind of cute. And it made me feel special because I was the only one who knew about it. Hinako, I don't think I can wake up on my own. Can you call me in the morning? Okay, sure. Hinako, can you hold my hand until we get there? Sure. He was such a baby sometimes, but I didn't really mind. But many years later... Hinako, come to my house and make me something to eat. I'm hungry. Hey, let's go on vacation next weekend. Can you make some reservations? He was all grown up now. He hasn't changed a bit. Then it hit me. Maybe he's only going out with me because I do everything he tells me to. After that, I started losing feelings for him. I'm gonna be late. Can you take out the trash for me? Sorry, bye. What? I can't take this anymore. I'm going to break up with him. I was done with him. It was time for me to move on. That day, I went out to lunch with some of my colleagues. This place is packed. Yeah, good thing we came early. Yeah, what should we get? Yuki? Wow, look at him. He's gorgeous. Where? Wow, you're right. Who is he waving to? His girlfriend? I wish I had a boyfriend like him. And look at his badge. I think he works for a really good company. Wow, he's perfect. I can't tell them he's my boyfriend. I just can't. I hid my face with the menu and ignored him. Phew, what a day. Yuki's probably mad. I should apologize. So I grabbed my phone. Ah, a text from Yuki. Why did you ignore me today? Are you mad about this morning? I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. Are you coming over tomorrow night? Can you make me some apple pies? He wants me to bake him a pie after work? On a weekday? Ugh. I was starting to get really annoyed. Screw this. I'm done with him. I'm just gonna ignore him. So I put my phone back in my bag. He stopped texting me after that. Maybe I was a bit harsh on him. Should I say something? I know he was way out of my league. I know I should be grateful, but... I think he just likes me because I do everything he tells me to. I'm not even sure if he loves me anymore. Just ignore him. It's time to let go. I put my phone away and went back to sleep. It was my day off that day. I wanted to get out of the house, so I called up my friend Yuka and went out to the mall. You don't even like shopping. Is everything okay? Let me guess, you got into a fight with Yuki. Huh? Uh, yeah, something like that. Oh, what the? Huh? I couldn't believe it. It was Yuki. He was with some girl I've never seen before. Uh, maybe that's his cousin or something. Or maybe he's just giving her directions. Yeah, that must be it. 
You could try to make me feel better, but I could tell that he really liked this girl. I knew it. He doesn't love me. Hey, uh, you want to talk to him or something? Nah, it's okay. It's over between us anyways. What? Come on, let's go. Okay. I knew this wasn't gonna work, and I was ready to end it all, but it still hurt like hell. Hinako, are you okay? Yuka invited me over to her house that night. She was worried about me. I didn't want to be alone, so it was really nice of her. Hey, thanks for letting me stay the night. I know you have work today. It's okay. It was nice catching up. Thanks, Yuka. She had work that day, so I headed back home. But then, Yuki was waiting for me in front of my house. Yuki? Hinako, where have you been? Oh, I was with a friend. Oh, that girl you were with yesterday? So he did see me. Hey, um, you said it was over. What did you mean by that? You heard that, huh? Well, what do you think it means? I want to break up. What? Why? Because I can't do this anymore. You're like a kid. I'm tired of taking care of you. What? And why do you need me anyways? You got plenty of other girls, don't you? What? No. If you leave me, how am I supposed to get changed and stuff? Shut up. Just go home. Hinako. I'm not your caretaker, okay? I'm sorry. Just leave. Don't come back. Goodbye, Yuki. Our relationship was over. Baba, you okay? Huh? You don't look well. You all right? Yeah, is everything okay? If you want to talk about it, we're here for you. Thank you. Um, I broke up with my boyfriend. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. Wait, what was that? You broke up with your boyfriend? Huh? What's your problem? Sorry, it's just that I always thought you were kind of cute. And I think you'd make a great wife someday. You seem like the type of girl who'd take good care of her husband, you know? What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a housekeeper, okay? That's not what I meant! I need a man who can take care of himself. Oh, okay. Well said, Baba. Huh? He probably thought he was giving you a compliment, but he was just trying to take advantage of you. Yeah, and even if you're good at housework, what makes him think that you take care of him? You only do that for the people you love. Yeah, I know, right? Baba, keep your head up. I'm sure you'll meet someone nice. Yeah. Thanks. I was thinking about Yuki again. When we first started dating, I took care of him because I loved him. When we were in college, I baked him my first apple pie. I've never made one before, but I wanted to make him happy. So I looked up some recipes online and gave it a go, but... It didn't go so well. But Yuki, he said... Wow! This is the best apple pie ever! Thank you, Hinako! He seemed really happy. I really loved him. I loved the way he smiled. So I started doing everything for him. Maybe I'm the one who spoiled him. Oh, it's from Yuka. I wasn't sure if I should tell you, but I saw Yuki with that girl again, and they were going into this wedding venue. If you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. What? Yuki's getting married! I didn't know what to think anymore. Then I realized something. I wasn't over him yet. It's probably too late, but... I decided to text him. Sorry to text you like this, but can we talk? How about this weekend? Yuki replied a few minutes later. Thanks for texting me. It's good to hear from you. This weekend I got a wedding. How about next week? He's getting married. 
It was Yuki's wedding day. I asked Yuki and found out where she saw him and I decided to go see him. What am I doing here? I guess I'm still not over him. Hinako? What are you doing here? Yuki, uh, I was in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Hey, am I? Yuki, congratulations. Huh? You're getting married, right? What? You serious? Huh? Hinako, how do you feel about me? Huh? What do you mean? You mean, it's not too late? I still love you. You might not feel the same way about me, but I still love you. I see. But you got it wrong. Huh? I love you, Hinako. You mean everything to me. I still think about you every day. Yuki! I'm sorry for acting like a kid. I'll learn to take care of myself from now on. I need you in my life, Hinako. So please, can we start over? Yuki, I'd love that. Really? Yes! Mom? Dad? Huh? Hinako and I are getting married. What? I was so confused, I started feeling dizzy. Then, I passed out. A few minutes later, I woke up in the waiting room inside the chapel. Turns out, this was Yuki's cousin's wedding. Wait, so you thought I was cheating on you? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you think that? You're all I care about, Hinako. I know, but back then I thought you only saw me as a housekeeper. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But listen, I knew something had to change. I knew I had to learn how to take care of myself. My cousin started going to this cooking school a few months ago, so I started going there with her, you know? That's when I ran into you. I see. Growing up, I could do most things on my own. Sometimes I wanted to rely on others, but I didn't really get to do that. Then in high school, on my first day there, I was pretty nervous. But then you came up to me and asked me if I was okay. Yeah, I remember that. You were always there for me. But I took it for granted. When you dumped me, it really hurt, but I deserved it. So I decided to change. I was going to ask you out again once I was a better man. But why? Because I love you. What else? Every time I see an apple, I think about the first apple pie you made for me. And whenever I wash my socks, it reminds me of you. I just love you, okay? I don't know how else to put it. That night, Yuki cooked dinner for me for the first time. He made me some onion soup. It was a little burnt, but it was the best onion soup I've had in my life. Now, every time I see an onion, it's gonna remind me of Yuki. <laughs> I thought my life was over when we broke up, but I think everything's gonna be alright. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! Bye-bye!